Hello everyone and welcome to episode 29 of the Bloodborne Effective Run. Um, today we'll be taking welcome on home, the Celestial hunter. Emissary. Um, in the last episode we cleared out the Upper Cathedral Ward. And uh, we actually have two bosses the within the Upper Cathedral Ward strength. that we will be uh, facing. The first of which is the Celestial close. Emissary. Now shut um, your eyes. The Celestial Emissary is a larger version of the, the Kin Ordeal. Oh, and I want to talk about leveling real quick. As of now, I will be spending all of my points in skill Farewell, until I reach hunter. 50. May you so find your that is the, the only thing world. I find worth upgrading at this point. And uh, the Saw Spear favors skill slightly over strength. So while we could get a little bit more by balancing out just out of our weapon, um, we will... Um, well, we could get a little more damage out of uh, leveling both. Uh, this this particular build is centered around parrying, and that's that. Also, we're going through the menu here to show off the Chicago, the Lugarius Will, all the new weapons you can buy after the bosses we've defeated. Uh, the repeating pistol here. Uh, this is what the uh, Crow of Canehurst, I think is his name. I believe he's the Crow of Canehurst, um, used. And we can also buy Eileen Set. Or his golden Ordorio for the um, executioner set, which uh, does have the amusing nature of it being a bell, and if you slide down a ladder, it will uh, clank on each of the rungs. But now I'm trying to figure out which uh, um, which location to warp to because I couldn't remember. I guess it's been a while. Uh, the celestial emissary is weak to a couple things. He's weak to um, thrust. And he's uh, weak to bolt. Now, I'm not really going to be taking advantage of thrust, but I will be taking advantage of bolt a little bit. And I'm also going to be using a, an item that uh, most of you have probably never used. And this is definitely the easiest fight to use it in, and that is the Shaman Bone Blade. If you don't know what the Shaman Bone Blade is, or does, uh, it effectively... Um, changes the aggro of enemies around you um, to the target you hit with it. It doesn't really do much in the way of damage or anything, but what it does do, and it only works on specific situations, and luckily this is one of those situations, is um, when you hit an enemy with it, the enemies around it will uh, target that enemy as well. Um, it's kind of like a super version of Undead Rapport, I'm not really sure. Uh, the Celestial Emissary, though, is one of these little guys. One of them. Not the Collective, one of them. Uh, we've got all these little guys coming out and attacking us, and then one that's kind of staying off and playing away. That's our guy right there. So let's go ahead and hit him with the Bone Blade, and let our new friends do the work. Now, either I either couldn't hit him with the Bone Blade or the second, in the second phase, or it just doesn't affect him in a second phase, because I wanted to try this out entirely, but unfortunately uh, that didn't come to fruition, so if you get lucky enough to very confidently hit him and make it work, let me know in the comments if, uh, if you can in fact shun and bone blade him in the second phase. But uh, but that's half of his health gone after just one quick item use, and, and you can pretty much gate around. Now, you can, in the Chalice Dungeons version of the Celestial Emissary, you can't be this uh, coy. Um, he is. Uh, he has more attacks in the Chalice Dungeon version. Here's where I thought I hit him with it. And it looks like, yeah, the two did come up, so I did. But they just don't aggro on him. But uh, in the Chalice Dungeon version, he's got the uh, brain. Like the, you know, the alien afro tentacle thing. And that will uh, allow him to do more attacks that go through walls. But once we get a full beast blood meter up, we just destroy it. As you can see there. It's a lot of damage. I really actually like this battlefield. I find it gorgeous, the lumen wood flowers and everything. But uh, alas, I am out of time for the episode. Uh, please let me know how this fight has gone for you. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.